Next off, lads, we're going to focus on Connacht and it's the semi-final meeting between Roscommon and Mayo, of course, with whoever qualifies will face Galway in the Connacht final. And Roscommon, they are the underdogs at 2-1 to one here, Kevin, taking on a Mayo side at 8-15. to 15. Mayo, I wouldn't say it was a hugely impressive victory last weekend, but they got the job done and the draw is 15-2. to two. How do you see this semi-final panning out? Yeah, well, you know, I suppose based on this year's performances, people are looking at Mayo, but look what Lewis Gorman did last year, you know, uh, beating both Mayo and Galway. So, you know, they have a good pedigree there. Um, obviously, after one in Division 2, this, you know, just recently as well. So, and the game is in the hide. So, like, there's a lot of things going in their favour. Um, Mayo looked very impressive against Galway. And then I was at the Mayo Tyrone game. It looked to me, Leon, that Mayo forgot about the league, they didn't care. Um, they're just solely focused on the championship. The big advantage, although the game was played in atrocious conditions last week, they have a game under their belt ch- at championship level. And now they go this weekend to play Roscommon. Mayo obviously see this year as possibly a year it can maybe happen for them. Um, I said here last week that the weather, the pitches, I, I just see some crazy results this year. I really do. Um, and I think... It, those heavy pitches will suit the likes of Mayo um, and I just fancy them to get the job done this week. And Dermot, you've had many a titanic battle against Mayo and um, thankfully from your perspective and Dublin's perspective, you came out on the right side, but a bounce of a ball, a kick of a ball, a refereeing decision, it could have been an entirely different story and to their credit, that Mayo team kept coming back year after year after year. I'm sure they're delighted to see the back of you and Jack McCaffrey for a season anyway, but Overall, Dermot, what do you think about Mayo's chances on Saturday and for the longer term? Yeah, as, Ke- as Kevin said, they've kind of they've kind of been doing a little bit of shadow boxing. They haven't really showed their full hand in in the last two games that we've seen them. Um, even though even though like they, they're relegated now to Division Two, Roscommon are going up to Division One, and um, that's a that's a big swing of power. And as Kevin said, this fixture last year, Roscommon won it. They they beat Mayo. So um, look. Mayo have a really good, a really good forward line. Um, a, a big leader in Aidan O'Shea, and I've been very impressed with him lately. He's he, he looks like he's at home there, a full forward now. He's not drifting out the field as much. He, he, he's winning marks and he's he's winning primary possession inside. Um, big thing for me is Matthew uh, Ruan and Connor Loftus at midfield. Um, this is a new partnership, and and same with their half forward line. We've seen. He's, James Horn has played a couple of young guys in the half forward line. Will we see Dermot O'Connor back? I know he's kind of he's been struggling with a little bit of injury, but to be honest with you, I'm actually going with what's common here. I think the home advantage in the Hyde last year's fixture. They have big players themselves, the likes of Downey Downey Smith, Ender Smith. I played with him in the Ireland squad. These guys are really good athletes, and uh, I'm just going. I'm going. I, I was kind of teetering towards a draw, but I'm going to say a was common win by one or two. And Kevin, how do you see it going? Look, it's tight enough in the betting. The Rossies are the underdog. They're getting a two-point head start in the spread. But how do you see it going? Would you be with Dermot? Do you think Roscommon can beat Mayo? You know, there's no... Definitely they can beat them, but I just think this weekend, the way the championship shaped up, the way Mayo is going to be looking at, you know, they have to get over the line at some stage, and this might be the year for them, the way things have fell. I just I just fancy Mayo to sneak it. <laughs> 